This conference will now be recorded. Uh, so Prakash, not Prakash name, but it's a Subhu, right? Subhu, Subhash, uh, what? Uh, yes, yeah, Subha. Subha, yes, you be. Uh, yeah, Subha. Subha. So that's nice that all three of you are exposed to SAP. Uh, uh, Bhagavat uh, is already a consultant. Uh, so basic essay, what is SAP? How to log into SAP? These are the basic things which you already know. Then I will directly come to the point. Okay, let me have a, my introduction and then I'll directly come to the point of our trainings. My name is uh, Kishore and uh, I have around 12 years of experience. Okay, I started my career in SAP. I initially just like uh, Kinjal, I was also a little end user and uh, kind of a little bit to support in manufacturing firm and then we uh, moved to certified and then and I'm working as a consultant. I worked on ECC and S4 HANA project. I worked in MM, SD, VC, variant configuration, advanced variant configuration. About, there are different models I worked. From training perspective, I'm been doing uh, training since uh, last eight years. Number of students, uh, I didn't count it. Those maybe plus 500 till now <laughs> I have trained them. While training, ours will be, a, it's a, not a typical uh, video streaming kind of thing. It will be a time taking process and it's like a discussion only. That's what how we do the training. First, I will go through the course content, like what we are offering. On that, if you have any points, any comments, uh, we welcome. Any topic, uh, one or two here and there, if you want to add, we are free to add that also. Timing wise, many people ask timings. Uh, uh, mutually, we decide what time we have to do, but duration is something which is very critical. Upfront, I will tell you the duration is not fixed in the sense. We are not, uh, there is no anyone to say, okay, finish it in 40 days, finish it in 50 sessions, nothing like that. Until, unless our concepts are clear, everything is executed practically, we will be going to do the trainings. Now, our training will take a lot of time as compared to if you would have attended other um, demos. They may give you commitment of one and a half months or two months. But frankly speaking, to learn MM, and that is also ECC and S4, it takes a lot of time. It's not easy to learn basic MM. It takes a lot of time. Plus, you learn the Delta part. That is a new thing in S4 HANA. This is also take a lot of time and clear the concepts. So timing wise, you people need to little bit open up. Okay, yeah. So don't have to add some restriction. Okay, like one and a half month or two months. That is not possible. Now, coming to the topic, we are going to start from basics. Basics in the sense, say example, how to log into the recipe. We will begin with this. Then we will understand the enterprise structure. Now we have to do one into an implementation. For example, <laughs> Boeing is a company, or Kinjal is working for some. Uh, okay, everyone go on mute, uh, otherwise, your recording will not be good. Uh, everyone, please go on mute. If you have a question, just unmute and please feel free to ask the question at any point of time. So, you take example of Kinjal company who is making some carpets so we have to do one into an implementation when we say it's a one into an implementation means we are trying to say that take a live example take boeing take uh, the company which can just said we'll take that as an example so that uh, we can see if your cp is to be implemented in the company as a consultant what activity you have to do what is the first activity we have to do so one end to end implementation we are going to do it one practical which is kind of an implementation we have to do it we have to do it so it involves the first basic thing is the organizational structure so organizational structure is nothing but what is the physical setup of Boeing? What is the physical setup of, say, ABCD carpent or <laughs> company? Physical setup means how many uh, warehouses they have, how many manufacturing facilities they have. Everything we have to put it in the system. So that is our organizational structure. So we will start with the basics, and the basics are nothing but organizational structure. And above that, we have to do all the master data. 
So whenever you say a uh, different kind of master data, we have to learn. It may be vendor materials. Uh, okay, there are many master data in for course source list. There are many master data. So we have to learn this master data from configuration point of view. Also from uh, like uh, how to maintain those master data. What is the <laughs> background or prerequisite setup which is required for maintaining that master data? So those points we have to learn in detail. Learn in detail. Then there are different processes uh, which we are going to learn. There are different independent topics which we have to learn, like uh, uh, what is RFQ, quotations, purchase requisition, purchase order, contracts, agreements. All this we have to learn in detail. We have to configure them and we have to run those in the system. Practically, we have to see it. Then there are business process release strategies. One release strategy is nothing but how the PR and PO approvals happens. That is also. This is the old uh, message determination. Message determination is like when you create a PO, when it's approved, it goes to the supplier. Then how uh, that is happening? That setup you have to do from functional point of view. Pricing, very important and critical topics. We have to learn it from scratch. We spend some quality amount of time on this uh, pricing. At least we spend some six to seven hours on only one, one of these topics. So it's around one week or plus. Okay, so that's the ample amount of time we spend on the pricing. Uh, MRP, this is a topic which is related to PP. Uh, please note in our MM sessions, we are <laughs> going to learn MM plus we are going to learn integration topics like uh, uh, say MM and PP integrations, like uh, MM and SD integrations, like MM and FIC integration. So those integration topics uh, are also uh, covered in our trainings as a default. So MRP, we are going to see uh, what are the significance, how to run the MRP, everything. This is something valuation, okay, uh, metal valuation, what are the valuation class, it's set up, everything you have to do it. Inventory management is another important topic which will be touched in detail. Configurations, uh, how are the different movements, uh, and what is the physical inventory, that part will also be covered in the inventory management. And then we have invoice verification. That is nothing, but it is sometimes is done by the finance team. Uh, obviously, the invoice posting is done by the finance, but uh, sometimes you need it to support, or sometimes the finance team will support. Okay, the finance consultant depends, but we should be covering this topic. Okay, and we should be prepared for in case any issues come in this area. Also, as a consultant, we should be able to support it. Then this is the ribet. <laughs> the ribet has been replaced with the new topic. And vendor evaluation. So this one, <laughs> this two new, these are the new topics. These are absolute, and we are going to use the new topics in those two areas. This is a core training. Now, core in the sense what? Now there are two systems in the world. SAP is having old system we call as ECC, or it's called a business suit. The new system is called as a S4 HANA. S4 HANA. S4 plus HANA. Okay, so it's called as S4 is the name of the application just like ACC and HANA is a database. So it's called as a S4 HANA. Now there are when before S4 whatever we have these topics, these are called our, I will say this is a core topics. Okay, now these core topics are available in ECC and available in S4. But in S4 there are some more points, okay, or changes. So here we have to learn changes in core topics. Okay, so core topics plus new things, new topics which are added, and old uh, some topics are deleted, some topics are replaced. I would say. So these we have to learn along with this core topic. So our training will be on S4 HANA 2020. 2020 is the latest server which is available in the market, which was released just two months before. Just two months before. In our training, we will be focusing on this and on this. Okay, both. So basically, yeah, this uh, now even if you wanted to go for certification, this both areas are required. So this will cover around. If you go for certification, this may cover around 80 to 85 percent, and the remaining 20 percent is uh, 20 to 25 percent. All depends. Okay, so the percentile is not so fixed, but uh, this is on average. Okay, the number of questions which we will cut from this. 
Now the core topics which is there in ECC the same is there in S4 HANA. So we have to do that. Plus there are new things in S4 HANA. There are some changes in the old core topics or there are some topics which are going to place that part also we have to see in detail. Now this training, okay, the first one training I'm going to call this as a basic training. And the second one I'm going to call it as a Delta training. So that's a difference. The difference is uh, if you see this one, we are calling it as a basic. This one we are going to call it as a basic. This one we are going to call it as a delta. Delta in the sense, what is a new thing in S4 as compared to the ECC? So that's we are going to call it as a delta. Okay, that's so the basic, and this is the uh, delta. Now I just gone through the basics. Uh, there uh, we have a delta as a separate topics. Okay, there are many topics uh, which are there in the delta as well. So if we see how many topics we have, we may have some 30 plus topics which are there only as a delta. Okay, I'm talking about this section, this delta section. We will have these topics. I've gone through these topics. Now these topics are also we will go through it. Delta, delta in a sense only uh, focusing the uh, changes. So here we'll start with basic introduction. What is the HANA? Okay, what is S4 HANA? What are the different options? What is a Fury? Now this is very important. Okay, a Fury is something which is new uh, UI. Okay, uh, earlier the Fury was there, but it was very old, slow, and uh, no one was using it. But the new Fury is very, very nice. It's very fast, and this is how it looks. Okay, this is how the it looks. It's just like your any app app kind of thing so that's the uh, fury and here uh, you can do all the activity like uh, grn purchase order okay all the activity which you do in the regular gui this is your gui okay now this is your gui now in the gui what you do the same activity can be done in the fury except configuration except configuration so this is the GUI, it's a 2020 server. It may be look a little different as compared to what systems you are trying to use. What systems you are trying to use. Now, we will be using this Fury um, uh, heavily. Also, I'm going to show you how to create apps. Okay, these are called as apps. How to create custom without writing a code okay we are not going to learn here anything uh, from the development side or from the technical side without writing code how to generate these apps also possible so i'm going to train you that uh, area as well in detail now this is something which is new and we have to focus a lot uh, because sap uh, all future development they are doing more on fury side they are doing more on the fury side Innovations in master data. This is again, what are the changes they have done in the master data? What are the changes they have done in the master data? Purchasing. Okay, what are the changes they have done in PR, RFU, PO, etc.? That also you'll see it. Business process wise, what are the changes? The release process, they have added new. Okay, what is there in ECC is there, but there are new topics added here. There are new ways new ways of the output uh, message also they have added it they have added it pricing related changes pricing related changes we have innovations in the mrp we have pricing what are the changes in the pricing what are the changes in the mrp inventory management changes invoice verification changes then there are different way how to upload the data okay in built uh, method tools are there uh, then migration we are going to see migration is something uh, we will see in discuss but migration is a process where you move the data from ecc to s4 that's a migration that also we are going to see it then there are many other small topics okay there are many apps where improvement has been done in 2020 so those different kind of apps we are going to see in detail so these are some 34 plus topics which we are going to touch base in the delta sessions touch base in the delta sessions okay so this is all about the topics which we are going to cover in our trainings open for questions on the topics if anyone has any questions just let me know i'm good 
I, uh, Kishore, um, will you be uh, providing the uh, uh, material for uh, this these topics? All the PDFs, uh, PPT, uh, spreadsheet, whatever maybe materials we have, we will providing. If you are going to appear for certification, we will provide you sample questions. Plus, uh, we will be providing you sample resume if you needed. Plus, we, all the interview questions, uh, so that it will help you for your interview preparation. All will be provided. It will be there in the Google Drive. And how about the session recordings? In case if you want to go back and see. Uh, <laughs> concept uh, will you be providing the recordings for each sessions all sessions uh, will be available in the google drive okay and which you will be having access so uh, each session will be recorded and available in the drive so you can access that uh, drive at any point of time and uh, in that uh, material will there be access to practice we have to do the practice uh, along with my practicals. Okay, the way we are going to do the training is uh, theory and practical. I will do hand in hand. I will take one topic, for example, organizational structure. I will show you. Uh, I will discuss the theory part and I will show you the practical. You have to do your own practicals along with me. Along with me means I will give you the homework. For example, I am doing the implementation for Boeing. You take an example of Airbus and start doing the implementation or take any industry which you are familiar. Now you will have knowledge on the business side. Take any industry and you do end to end implementation. End to end implementation means uh, doing everything from scratch. So that is a practical we have to execute independently. Everyone should do that. I will show you how to do that in our sessions in the class, but that will be a homework for you to do the same for your project for your company where you are going to implement the SAP. So you don't uh, look for additional different kind of exercise because this is one end to end implementation. This is our project which we are going to implement independently. So this is our exercise. So this exercise is more than sufficient if you do all the exercise which I tell you, which I will give you as a homework. And also one more question. Um, so uh, normally uh, people say like in the beginning, uh, you know, they go in depth and then slowly, uh, uh, you know, the most of the topics, uh, uh, you know, they go on the high level. So will you be going in depth uh, in each topic? See, all the topics uh, which uh, I have mentioned, those will be covered in depth as for the requirement means uh, some topics are there where you have to will be only three parts some topics are there where you have to go <laughs> you have to practically do something you have to run the process so that also we are going to do because what is going to happen at the end uh, okay you have to run all the business processes means what we have to do uh, uh, i may not have it let me see i may have it uh, I, if I have Excel sheet, okay. I, this is just a sample Excel sheet. I'm just trying to show you. Okay, so here, for example, uh, enterprise structure is the one topic. How to set up the enterprise structures? What are the steps which are involved? Okay, how, where you have to go and do it? All I have maintained in the spreadsheet. So all steps we are trying to do it. This is a, just one sample. Now at the end, okay, there are uh, at the end of all the topics. Okay, uh, once we are done, there is a uh, additional topics kind of thing is called as a business process. So let me okay say. <laughs> there are 18 business processes which we have to run 18 business processes this we have to do at end of our trainings once your concepts are clear all the topics are covered again you have to run all the business processes end to end end to end means you it's a procurement standard procurement then how to create purchase order see how to do the gr and how to do the billing understand the accounting flow everything we have to learn for all these 18 scenarios oh, so, sounds awesome that also, that also we have to do it. Yeah. And uh, how about the server? I you said uh, it will take some time for the course, right? Uh, um, so if we don't have time constraint, uh, how long you will be providing the server? 
Uh, okay, and server, you need to uh, maybe you check with Naveen. Okay, he will be uh, yeah. be handling the servers. So uh, how many months he will be providing servers? Everything he will give you. Okay, sure, I'll do that. That's all, uh, Naveen. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, uh, but what, Kiran? Uh, uh, you have any questions? Uh, Kishor and everyone, hello. Yes. Kishor, hello. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, Kishor, uh, there is small request from uh, Bhagwat in the uh, like uh, about the schedule. Okay, uh, can we do it the schedule like uh, uh, like Saturday USA evening and Sunday USA evening? Is that okay? Uh, maybe that, uh, that is, uh, Monday India morning and Sunday India morning. Uh, we can uh, discuss. Uh, you just uh, take input from all three participants. Uh, what is feasible for them? Then we can discuss. So yes. Saturday U.S. evening and Sunday U.S. evening. Yeah, everyone is from U.S. actually. Sir, okay. Uh, so Kinjal and uh, Subha, how about you guys? Okay, is, will that we work will for you? We should make a one WhatsApp group and discuss over there other details. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, sure. Uh, what what schedule and uh, how we are going to uh, be scheduling all the. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. You people uh, just uh, discuss. Uh, Navin, you just let me know what are everyone agrees sure, and sure. then yeah, I'll check sure. the schedule and confirm. You. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. Um, uh, Bhagavad, you can get my number from Naveen. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Or I can so give you right anyone, now. Uh, anyone has any? No, 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 no. We'll, uh, we'll share the numbers offline, okay? Not uh, in the call, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, anyone has any questions, any open points? Okay, then I guess we covered. Uh, just let us know. Okay, if you needed any more information, so you just realize with Navin, uh, he will provide you. Books and everything we will be providing all the previous books also certification which are all the certification books we will be providing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if no question, then I will stop here. If anyone has any question, just let me know. So Kishore, uh, in case if you are um, if you are if you sign up and if you want to go further, um, so from when you are starting to um, take this class, uh, uh, it will start hopefully uh, next uh, week onwards. But Navin will confirm you. Okay, I need, oh. yeah, he will be. <laughs> he will confirm you all the details. Okay, thanks, Kishu. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Are we done for today, uh, Kishore? Okay. Bye, guys. If you're online, bye. Um, I'll see you on WhatsApp.